Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart, where we learn about anything and everything heart related. I recently bought the new Apple Watch Series 6 for my girlfriend as a birthday gift and wanted to share my views about it. As a cardiologist and researcher interested in technology, the different health related features of the latest Apple Watch is definitely moving remote monitoring in the right direction. One of the new features of the Series 6 is the ability to measure blood oxygen saturation, which is the amount of oxygen carried by the red blood cells. This is similar to the finger oxygen probes which we have in the hospital. I found this to be quite interesting especially in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic as we tend to see a few happy hypoxics presenting to the hospital. These are patients with severe COVID-19 infection and very low oxygen saturations but appears to be unaware of it. These patients tend to deteriorate quite quickly if they don't receive treatment for the low oxygen levels. Therefore, having a device that can be used by everyday people to measure their oxygen level could potentially be useful in identifying such patients. Of course, it shouldn't be used to provide false reassurance and if you have symptoms, you should still seek medical attention. Another interesting potential of having oxygen saturation measurement, which I think may be of use, would be in the identification of sleep apnea. Some people drop their oxygen saturations when they are asleep due to a disease known as obstructive sleep apnea. OSA can cause and lead to other health problems such as hypertension and atrial fibrillation or AF. Therefore, diagnosing it and treating it early is important to prevent such disease. I'm not sure how reliable the measurement would be with the Apple Watch but hopefully this will improve in the future iterations and allow earlier detection of such disease. The second feature which I found interesting was the sleep tracker. The sleep tracker on the Apple Watch is another feature to help people get enough sleep. You can set your bedtime and the watch will be able to track when you fall asleep and when you wake up, including a wind down routine to help you get to sleep. The sleep history function lets you look back and may be useful to find out why your sleep was not as good on a particular day. This allows you to build a better sleep hygiene routine and potentially lead to a healthier lifestyle. Lastly, of course, the most exciting feature of the Apple Watch would be the heart rhythm monitor and ECG feature. The watch will occasionally check your heart rate in the background and inform you if it detects irregular heart rhythm over 5 rhythm checks. Another feature is the ability to perform a 2 lead ECG which can be used to identify atrial fibrillation. These are highly important features as we know that AF is associated with many complications such as stroke. Early identification can help prevent the next stroke. I have a previous video on my channel about AF so you can click to see if you are interested in learning about atrial fibrillation. I think it is great that technology has advanced to improve detection and monitoring of disease by consumers. I am hoping that this will become more widely available soon so everyone can enjoy the use of these features and live a healthier life. If you find this interesting, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for joining me.